Hello friends, now we are going to see a very inspiring lesson about the life of the greatest scientist of this century, Dr. Stephen Hawking. Uh, so let's read the lesson, An Epitome of Courage. We often tend to hide behind our weaknesses, disabilities, handicaps or mourn over them our whole life through. Dr. Stephen Hawking, one of the greatest scientists of the century, did not do so. In spite of suffering from a very rare and dreaded disease, Dr. Hawking continued, to, continued his research undaunted. His exemplary courage should inspire us to do our best even under trying circumstances. He passed away on March 14, 2018. Exactly 300 years after the death of the great scientist Galileo, Dr. Stephen Hawking was born in Oxford, London on the 8th day of January, 1942. Little did his parents know that one day their little boy would be hailed as one of the greatest scientists of this century. Neither could anybody imagine that his mind would soar up into the space like light. More importantly, none could predict that he would be the very epitome of courage. Courage is a wonderful thing. It is that quality which makes people not lose heart when faced with a great calamity. It would not be an exaggeration to say that Dr. Hawking It would not be an exaggeration to say that Dr. Stephen Hawking, a living legend of cosmology, is a very personification of courage and hope. Except his mind, his whole body is bound to a wheelchair thanks to a cruel quirk of fate. Yet, he is one of the greatest scientists of this century. An average child, Stephen grew up to be a normal teenager, full of mischief and lots of love for music and mathematics. Even though his father wanted him to study medicine, he was bent on studying mathematics. The University of Oxford at that time did not have a course in mathematics, so he opted to study physics instead. At the age of 17, Stephen started noticing that he was being increasingly clumsy and even fell down a couple of times for no reason. This perplexed him and he went to see his family doctor who diagnosed him as suffering from an extremely rare disease, ALS or Lau Gehrig's disease that affects the nerve system and eventually weakens all the muscles of the body. Stephen says that even as a child, his muscle coordination was nothing to write home about. He recollects that his handwriting would send his teacher into a fit of frenzy. Nor was he inclined towards sports. Nevertheless, this disease came as a bolt from the blue. How much time he had left on, he, on this planet was very uncertain. The prognosis was bad and the doctors said they could not do much. Undaunted, Stephen decided to continue his research and even got engaged to Jane Wilde. Hawking says that, ironic as it may sound, it is at this dismal stage he began enjoying life 
द मोस्ट दिस इज सेज वॉज बिकॉज ही स्टार्टेड लिविंग लाइफ फॉर द मोमेंट एंड कंटिन्यूड ही इज डॉक्टरल रिसर्च वर्क विथ रिन्यूड विगर इन द मीन वाइल द डिसीज वर्क इट्स वे इन टू स्टीफन्स बॉडी एंड लेफ्ट हिम डिसेबल्ड he began studying the concept of black holes to get his phd by this time he was confined to a wheelchair and was rapidly losing control of his hands and speech the study of black holes sparked his imagination with bright ideas he made many epoch making statements that shook established theories scientists believe that the universe began with a big bang to explain this concept better stephen invented what is known as lie algebra though confined to a wheelchair with no control over his body save a finger and with a computer to help him express his thoughts dr hawking is an authority on profound subjects of science numerous honorary doctorates and awards have been bestowed on him he is a fellow of royal society and a member of us national academy of sciences in spite of being considered einstein equal in intelligence dr hawking is a very humble man a simple down to earth man he has authored many books dealing with his awesome ideas keeping a live man in mind his writing is full of wit and humor his style is so lucid that non scientist can also understand him his book a brief history of time is one of the best selling books of our times on being asked how he feels about having the dreadful als dr hawking the quiet essence of optimism and hope says not very different from the rest i try and lead as normal a life as possible and not think about my condition or regret the things it prevents me from doing which are not many dr hawking firmly believes that in the next millennium science will discover the core secrets of the universe its origin its history and maybe even predict its ultimate demise like dr hawking there are many people who displayed exemplary courage in their lives let us salute all those brave people who in spite of being disabled strive to do their best thank you